Pete and Bobby Farley, welcome. Great to have you here. Thanks. Thank you. What's the key to your comedy? I think it's to have fun, you know, it, it, particularly in this one in the Stooges, it's like they really don't work unless you like the guys. And, it, you know, we like to take a little bit of time at the beginning of our movies and explain why you'd like these guys that you're going to spend an hour with and, uh, or an hour and a half. And, you know, that, that's the key is it has a little bit of heart to it. Mm. No, it's got visual humor. It's got, here I am sitting here at 57 thinking, I'm not going to laugh, I'm not going to laugh. It's so damn silly. <laughs> and then you find yourself thinking about parts of the movie later going, this is pretty funny. The guy who was driving me yesterday, his name is Eric, he said, you know what I like about it? He walks around with his iPhone that has three Stooges clips from back in the day. So he's, Eric's very excited that the movie's coming out. He said, you go there and you don't have to think. Everybody needs a good laugh and that's what they do for me. That you don't have to connect the dots, you don't have to think, and that's what I think you all do very well. You well, just make us want to laugh. Well, I appreciate that. You know, this, especially now, you know, the Stooges started in, during the Great Depression, and now we're in the Great Recession, and it, it really is like you, you do forget your worries for 85 minutes, just go in and giggle, and it's, it's mm -hmm. all about that. It took you 10 years to develop this, even though <laughs> you had a lot of other things to do. Yeah, right. But why 10 years? Um, I think they, you know the studios were afraid that the that the Three Stooges are they're iconic. You know how are we going to outdo the original Three Stooges? And our feeling always was, we probably are not going to outdo them. We're hoping to just recapture and you know the the yeah. funny stuff that they did and, and reintroduce them to a new generation of kids. And then the, the trick was to kind of set it in the modern day world. And that that, and, that took a little bit. And what's the key doing. to do that? Uh, to, to capture the three Stooges, to capture the sense. Well, we of were we were very clear, day, you know, yeah. and fa and th and that was one of the reasons it was so difficult to get made because mm -hmm. when we met with actors and we did meet with lots of thousands of actors, honestly, over a thousand, or we didn't meet with them all, but we looked at a thousand actors. Mm -hmm. We were very specific. We said it has to be exactly Mo, Larry, and Curly. We didn't want a version of Mo, like you know, mm -hmm. a Batman movie. Right, right. Yeah. We wanted to be exact, mm -hmm. and some actors don't like that. They they you know, if we were. If uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier were going to be in this movie, we'd ask him to read because it had to be right on. And, and uh, you can't ask certain guys to read. They'd get offended. Yeah, he'd probably want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yes, he, yes, I he, think he would. He, yeah. I would like to know about your unique sense of humor because what was funny is watching you guys watch the clips of yourselves, of your movies, and you're cracking up. <laughs> you're cracking up yourself. So We haven't seen them. Until, I, honestly, I never watch our movies. Once they're done, it, that's it. And to, so it was sort of funny. fresh. It, it brought back It memories. was a little embarrassing. We were, the, we were laughing a lot. <laughs> we were laughing to say we did that. But Peter and Bobby, you guys are grown men. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking, are you mature men? Are you sophomoric in your real life? What do you really like? Because I, as can I'm watching, be both. can you be both? Well, of course you can. You I can mean, be you can grown be... and sophomoric. Yes, and and like to be crazy and silly and sophomoric and all those things. Don't you agree? Well, I agree that we are sophomoric, yeah. and we, but but we're grown men too. But we we lean towards being sophomoric because we like to laugh and we like no, to have fun. Too. And no matter what happens, we always try to think. There's something funny about this, and we can, uh, yeah. you know, we can we can have a little fun with but it. But when you go about this, do you put on your game hat and say, "This yeah. is my work to be funny," yeah. or are you naturally simply an extension of who you are and where you are and how That's you are? I say it's more of that. You know, yeah. honestly, yeah. like people ask us, they say, "Do you do you sit down and think of these gags?" And we don't. That's not how it happens. What we do is we first think of creating a character that's so likable that we can hang our gags on them. And once yeah. you have those characters worked out where you like those guys, mm -hmm. the gags are natural. They come easily, but it, it's like, you better like Jim Carrey in, in, uh, Dumb, in Dumb and Dumber, Dumber. Yeah. because, uh, yeah. you know, two minutes uh, into the movie, he's selling a dead bird to a blind kid in a wheelchair. <laughs> and if you don't like him, that that's funny over. by definition with Jim Carrey. <laughs> but it's <laughs> over if you don't like the guy. Yeah, and exactly. There so. is something about that. Growing are you guys only children? Do you have siblings? We're the only ones that count, but we do have three <laughs> sisters. <laughs> we have three lovely sisters. Are they funny? Yeah. yeah. They're very funny. Exactly. Beth, they are. Yeah, that's my case. Yeah, Beth, see, I was, wondering, I was wondering if you grew up in a funny household. I was just curious about uh, your background, uh, how this came to be. Yeah. Because there's some, you guys, this is what fascinates me about your work. Like that scene in uh, There's Something About Mary. With the iconic, mm. you know, the, ha the in her hair. Based on something that happened to Bob. No, but anyway, no, kidding. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Just Bobby, kidding. whoa. <laughs> but this is the thing: you go to the line, and I'm thinking they're not going to go there. Not, they're not going to go there, and then you do, and then you do. Is there a line you won't cross? It's, it's generally a line where if somebody in particular, you know, got hurt or something, we, you know, we, we just. 
we, it's, the joke is generally on our, our lead character, who yes. we spend a lot of time, again, we, we were going over this, but trying to get you to like him. And then most of the funny things happen to our, our lead characters. And in the Three Stooges, it's no different. So how do you get him to like you, to like him? Well, in the beginning of There's Something About uh, Mary, Right. You know, uh, yes. t uh, Ben Stiller's character stood up for, for Mary's uh, mentally uh, uh. challenged brother, who he didn't know was, a, it was her brother, and he, you know, he just did the right thing. And you saw him do it, and then he found out, you know, then it just by coincidence, it was Mary's brother. And so you saw that he, that he, you know, he's a good guy. He's coming from a good place. So then when funny things happen to him, you know, you go with And it. in this, actually, and you said, how do you take them and put them in the modern day? Well, we had the advantage of in a movie setting, yeah. although this is broken up into three episodes, each episode picks up where the last one yes. left off, and there's an arc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in this one, there's the beginning... There's an actual plot, Peter. There's a plot. There's and an in the beginning, Moe, as a child, gets adopted, uh, taken away from Larry and Curly, and on the way to this mansion that he's been adopted, the family that adopted him, he tries to convince them to go back for his friends. And by doing that, they drop him off and take another kid. No, but it, but it all ties together yeah. nicely. We do, I know we have to go, Maz, but we have to say something because I thought the movie was so violent. But I think, I did, but some of the jokes, but I think it's really great at the end, you make sure that the kids know, do not try this at home, oh, yeah. nobody was hurt, no. you know, that was all just well, a big Well, this joke. movie is, we, we test our movies a great deal, and this one is mom tested, you know, we, yeah. we showed no, no, it to mom, we made sure that, you know, because mom's like, oh, the Three Stooges, you know, I, I don't know, but it's it's silly violence. It's, it's, yes. it's, it's cartoon yes. stuff, it's like nobody gets hurt, it's, it's very, it's very kid friendly. It's a PG movie.